Howdy folks, Christian here with the Superb Cedar Tree, and behind me is the only iron furnace from pre-Civil War times that is left remaining to date. Um, back in 1862, Fort Henry and Fort Donaldson fell, and the Union gunships made their way towards down the Tennessee River and shelled the entire place, destroying the entire community built around this furnace behind me. And what this furnace's purpose was back in the Civil War is was to supply iron to every part, the, U the Union, the Confederacy, everyone needed iron back in the day. So they mined their ores from Marsh Creek down the road and brought it here and chopped down entire hardwood forests to supply charcoal just to keep the thing rolling. So let's go check it out. So now I'm sitting inside one of the chambers that's in a little bit of disrepair. What they would used to do, this whole thing would be filled up with charcoal and it'd be burning bright and so hot that it would melt anything. And the iron slag would used to pour out under me and they'd just scoop it and put it into bars and that's how they'd make their iron. And the cool thing about this place is it was dedicated to as a park in 1976. There'll be a picture of that right here. So. Also, this thing used to have about a hundred men that manned it, you know. And black and white, didn't matter. They weren't all even slaves. So, they used to man that, and whenever the Union attacked, everyone scattered. And they, everyone was left. And this is all that was left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Comment what you want to see us do next. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side.